cross leg position. Let's sit up straight, chest elevated, open, shoulders pull back, and also relax down the back. And gently, very slowly with me, just close down the eyes. Bring our awareness, our focus, our attention into the body and into the breath. Using that breath as a vehicle, if you will, to bring you here. A lot of the inhales and exhales become a little bit longer. As you start to feel that breath as it slowly and gently moves in. And as it slowly and gently moves out. And can you be aware with me of how the body moves with just you breathing? Feel the rise, the expansion of the chest as you breathe in. And feel that sense of relaxation and ease as you breathe out. Now, ideally, as we start to move through our practice here today, can we keep that awareness with our breath the entire time? And can we notice how this breath can help us move and go deeper within each and every single pose we come into? So keeping that in mind, let's slowly begin. I'm gonna open up the eyes. As you take your next inhale, raise both arms up to the sky, rise and reach, inhale, lengthen, up, 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 up. And as you exhale, let's take a twist over to the right. So right hand's gonna go behind you, using that left hand as a little bit of a helper. It's pressing into that right leg and twist, 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 gazing over that right shoulder. Notice here with me that the spine is nice and long, so I'm not leaning back or lounging back. I'm trying to sit up as straight as I can. Good. Every inhale creates more length. Every exhale, deeper, deeper twist. And again, using this breath as a vehicle to go deeper within our own body, our own practice, even our own mind. Inhale, both arms raised to the sky. And as you exhale, we'll take that twist over to the left. The left hand goes behind you, looking over that left shoulder. Using that right hand as a little bit of a helper here, presses into that left leg, and all of a sudden the twist goes a little bit deeper. So it works like a little bit of a leverage. Every inhale, more length, extension, space. Every exhale, deeper, deeper twist. Good, still connecting with the breath. Noticing again how the breath helps us within the poses. Next inhale, you take, raise both arms up to the sky, rise and reach. And as you exhale, we're gonna take that lean to the right. Right hand's lowering down to the side. Left arm is reaching up and over. A few pointers here. Make sure you're pressing down with the left sit bones and you're reaching long with the left arm. It's how much space can we find throughout the entire side. It's like I'm trying to take that left hip bone, pushing it down towards the floor as the right, as the left ribs try to pull away from that. So two places pulling away from each other to find that deeper stretch. Again, let's relax the right elbow, the right shoulder, and feel that length, feel that extension. Next inhale back to center, both arms rise and reach. And as you exhale, take that reach over towards the left. Left hand lowers, right arm reaches. Again, being mindful here with me that we're pressing the right sit bones into the floor and finding that full length and extension throughout that right side. Little bend in the left elbow, relaxing, relaxing of the left shoulder. How's that breath? Can you deepen it? Another little thing to be focusing on here, the right ribs, like trying to lift those to the sky. So we have this lift up to reach over. Good, next inhale back to center, both arms rise. And as you exhale, just gonna release the arms down to the side. You can extend the legs forward and have the toes pointed up. Let's bring the legs together so they touch. And both arms up to the sky. The pose is called Dandasana, called seated staff pose. So as you're here, just breathe with me a little bit, activate throughout the arms. And let's find some focus here on the feeling you're trying to pull the toes back towards your body. And this emphasis of pulling the toes back gives you a deeper stretch that starts to happen in the calves. So keep that in mind. Another inhale, big breath in, more length, more extension, more reach. And as you exhale, we're gonna take that reach and go for the feet. And if you can't quite grab the feet, it's okay. You grab onto the shins or the knees, but when we're here, still try to pull the chest forward so we're still maintaining that length here for the spine. And as you're here, you can relax the head, relax and soften the shoulders, and slow down the breath. So every time we're here, we're just giving you that reminder to slow down the breath. It's just gonna reground us, reground us, finding more calmness, more ease throughout the body. Another thing to focus on, every inhale creates that deeper length. Every exhale, uh, deeper relaxation and ease. Take the time, feel that with me. The next inhale, you take, raise both arms back up to the sky, rise and reach. 
And then as you exhale, we're just going to release the hands down to your side. Once you take your right foot, you're going to bring it in. It's kind of set up like tree pose. So the right foot is pressing in towards that inner left thigh. Left toes are pointing up. Left leg is straight. Both arms to this guy. Now you want to take your body here and you're actually going to tilt it slightly so it's more in line with the left leg. Same thing we just did. We find that length. Inhale, reach, reach, reach. And then exhale, fold forward into that straight left leg. Relax the head. Relax the shoulders. Relax the elbows and just fold. Again, let's not be so so uh, focused on we have to grab the feet. I have to grab the feet. We're here, here to stretch. Okay, so if you're not able to grab the feet, you grab onto the calf. You let the body bow. You let it start to relax in the base. We pause here and we just drop deeper and deeper into the breath, using that breath to help take us here fully present. And then as you're here, can you just feel? Just feel with me, feeling that deeper stretch in the left hamstring, feeling that stretch opening throughout the back of the spine. And as we start to relax the head here, you may even start to feel that opening in the back of the neck. Another focus I try to remind myself here as I'm in this pose is to try to pull the crown of the head, the very top of the head towards the feet. And notice when you do that, it lengthens the spine at the same time. Do that next inhale, you take, raise both arms up to the sky, up and reach. And as you exhale, we're gonna take a twist over to the right. That left hand is gonna go onto that left knee, or the right knee, and you're just looking over that back shoulder. Good, so a big focus here is we wanna make sure the chest is pointing towards the right side of your room. Keep that. You're gonna take the back arm, that right arm, raise it up to the sky. Length and reach, inhale. And as you exhale, just start to lean forward. Okay, as you're leaning forward here, the left shoulder is kind of lowering down towards the left leg. The right arm is up and over the head. You want to try to keep the right bicep. See how I flex my arm there? You want to keep the right bicep basically in line with the ear. Just lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. As we're trying to create this separation, this space through the side body, so the stretch should be there. You may even notice that as we go down lower and lower, maybe there's a possibility for that right hand to connect to that left foot. But don't let that mean be your main goal. We're still keeping the chest one open to the right the entire time. Bigger goal here is stretch on the side body. A few deeper breaths here. I'm also bringing this focus in as if I'm trying to take the right ribs and lift them up towards the sky. That's going to create a little bit more stretch and a bigger and bigger length. Next inhale, you take just the right arm raise it to the sky. Chest lifts up there with you. Right hand's going to lower down behind you. Palm is flat with the fingers pointing towards the back of the mat. Pressing down with the inside of the right shin. Lift the hips up and take the left arm up and over the head. Let the head relax. Thrust the pelvis up towards the sky and start to feel that opening, that opening back bend here. Heart is open, hips are high, breath is deepening. Another inhale breath in. As you exhale, release the hips down to the floor. Turn your body to point forward and extend that right leg forward. Switching sides with me, left leg comes in. Left foot's basically right into that inner right leg. It's kind of set up like a tree pose. Right foot flexed. So toes point up, both arms to the sky. Chest swivels, gets a little turn, so it points more towards the right leg. Inhale, lengthen with me. Get tall, tall, tall. And exhale, start to fold. Relaxing and bowing into that right leg. All right, so one thing I tend to see a lot on this one is we tend to kind of round the back. Think more length, length, length. I want to try to keep us tall torso but we're just leaning that length forward. Breathing into the chest, breathing into the spine, relaxing, releasing, softening the head, softening the shoulders. Again, feeling that focus, we're trying to take the crown of the head, pulling it forward, and when you do that, feel how that actually lengthens the torso. If you're not able to grab onto your feet here, it's okay. We're grabbing onto our calf, or even the hamstring if that's where you're at, and that's fine too. Okay, again, reminding yourself we're here just to feel the stretch, just to feel the stretch and just to connect a little deeper with it. A few deeper breaths here. Noticing if you're tensing anywhere that you could actually be relaxing. I, you don't really need a lot of tension in your face right now. Can you let that go? Can you also soften the shoulders? Relax and release. Breathe a little bit deeper. Next, inhale, both arms raise high to the sky. Get tall with me. Inhale, length, length, length. And exhale, take that twist over to the left. The right hand goes onto that left leg, using that right hand as a little bit of a leverage to twist even deeper. Check in with the torso. You wanna to try to make sure that the chest is pointing towards the left side of the room here. That back arm, the left arm raises to the sky. Inhale, get taller, taller, taller. And then as you exhale, you start to lean forward. 
as you're leaning forward here again big goals you want to be lengthening and extending throughout the left side of the body feeling that stretch and as you go down a little bit deeper a little bit lower maybe possibly that left hand is able to find that right foot ah, there it is good the chest keeps spinning open Another little helper here is that right hand. It's kind of pressing into that left knee and you use that as an opening here. Twist the chest open more. Take the time, feel the stretch going deep, deep, deep in that left side of the body. And now breathe into that. Send that breath through the body, deep in the breath. Keeping the right hand on the left knee, inhale, sit up tall, left arm back up to the sky, get tall, tall, tall with the torso. Left hand comes back behind you, left palm flat to the floor, left fingers point towards the back of the room. The inside, the left shin presses into the floor, and then we lift the hips up, reaching that right arm up and over the head. Hips are high, high, high. Relax the head, deepen the breath. Mm. Sending that breath all the way through the chest it feels pretty good. Those moments where you're just like, mm, I love them, I love them. Hips a little higher, another big breath in. And exhale, release the hips down to the floor, and let's extend the legs forward. So just like to shake out the legs here a little bit, kind of reset things. All right, let's take the knees. You're going to bend those. Feet are flat to the floor, about hip width apart. Hands come back behind you. Palms face down, fingers point forward. Roll the shoulders back. Puff the chest up and keep the arms straight. Just hang here for a moment and notice what's actually happening. Okay? It doesn't look like there's much happening, but take the time to feel deeper with me. Okay? We have a stretch here happening in the front of the shoulders. We have a stretch here happening in the biceps. We have a stretch here happening in the forearms and the wrists. Okay, all just by hanging out here. Chest is high, shoulders stay back. Good, now press down with the feet, lift those hips up, 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 up. As the hips are lifted, let the head relax back. Send that breath deeper to the body. All the way up into the chest. You need to lift the hips up so high you feel a stretch in the belly. Good, now look forward towards me. Take the right ankle, you get across it over the left thigh. And then just lower the butt down to the floor. Roll the shoulders back, buff the chest up. I like to take that left foot and see if I can bring it closer to the butt. And then push my chest closer to that right leg. The right leg, if you try to push that away from you, you'll notice the stretch goes deeper right into that right hip. Left foot, heel toe it over to the right so it's at the edge of the mat. And then we're gonna release the outside of the left leg uh, down to the floor. Sitting up straight, all of a sudden we're set up like full pigeon. So a few key points with the full pigeon. Basically, the left ankle is stacked with the right knee joint. Left knee joint, uh, actually it's the right knee joint, that top leg, right knee joint stacked with the left ankle joint. You can't quite find the stack, you're just doing the best that you can. If you're in this pose and you're like, ah, gee, I can't even get that leg up on top, that's okay too. We're gonna have this foot forward and we're good to go. Take the body and then can you can start to let it bow, let it bow. Ah, big breath in. And through the mouth, let it go. Ah, yeah, feel free to sigh it out for me. Big breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, exhale, let it go. Yes. One more, just because it feels so good. Big breath in. Open the mouth, exhale, release. Let it go, let it go, let it go. You'll notice as we let it go, I hate to heal you. Maybe we've let go of some pressure throughout the shoulders, throughout the arms, throughout the head. And just soften with me, soften with me. Be here. And uh, as we're here in Pigeon Pose, it always just kind of reminds me to reset, to reset. Taking the time to really feel what's going on here in the body. and. Uh, in a pose like this, there should be no doubt <laughs> of where you're feeling this, ideally right there in the right hip. If you're feeling any pressure in the knees or the ankles, just let it be a reminder to, to shift something a little bit. So maybe it just needs to be a little bit of a change up of the pose. Can we soften a little bit more, maybe relax the head? I like to make this uh, <laughs> a little fist pillow. How uh, exciting is that for a pillow? A little fist pillow and let the head rest onto that. Maybe you need to double up that pillow and let the head go. Funny thing when we're in a pose like this, just this relaxing, even though we're using our fists as pillows, all of a sudden it feels so comfortable. Just let go with it, let go with it. Shoulders relax, breath relaxes. A few more deeper breaths here with me. Noticing once again, are you holding, are you tensing, are you tightening? Can you release? 
Can you soften? Can you let go? Then slowly let the chest lift back up. Rise up. Good. And then take the legs. You're going to extend those forward. A uh, beautiful thing happens when we extend the legs and start to shake them out. It's as if everything just resets. All that blood just flows right back in. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. All right, let's make our way on the other side. We start with the tabletops. You're going to bend the knees. Once again, feet are flat to the floor. They're about hip width apart. Hands come back behind you. Palms face down. Fingers point forward. We roll the shoulders back. Puff the chest up. Keep the arms straight. Press down with those feet and lift the hips up super high. And let the head relax back. But as you're taking the head back, again, think of it more just like you're relaxing it. You're letting go. You're not forcing anything. A few deeper breaths, feeling that stretch opening in the chest, the shoulders, the biceps, the forearms, the wrists. And look back forward towards me. The left ankle now stacks on top of the right thigh, and then take a seat. Bring in that right foot. We're going to bring it a little closer towards the tush. And then let the chest pull closer towards that left leg. Left knee pulls away from you a bit, and it already starts to get that stretch there into the left hip. Right foot, heel toe, heel toe over to the left, so it's at the edge of the mat. And then let's release that outside the right leg down to the floor. Okay, we sit up a little bit straighter, and we take the time to find that setup. Again, we want the ankle joint in line with the knee joint, so we may have to readjust that. Knee joint in line with the ankle joint. And then we stack it. Okay, so full pigeon is also known sometimes as fire log pose because the legs are set up like fire logs. Okay, so depending on where you're at with this, we have the same thing that we went on the other side. So if you need to bring a foot forward, if you can't quite get it up, that's okay too. Another thing to be mindful for too, this side's a little bit tighter for me as, as well, maybe it is for you, but uh, this knee sits up a little bit higher. Okay, as I start to relax and release into it, maybe just possibly it starts to lower. Okay, so notice if it does that for you too. Usually as we stay in here long enough, we'll realize that we were tensing muscles we'd even realize, and those just start to let go. When they let go, the body goes deeper. Hands come down towards the floor, maybe walking the hands forward. Head relaxes, shoulders relax. Seeing where we can soften, where we can relax, where we can let go. So right now, the head pull isn't really an option for me. I gotta work my way up to it. So again, as we stay in here, can we relax, can we release, can we let go even more? Maybe that head pull is there for you. If that's the case, go for it. Stay and breathe. Notice what arises here for you. Uh, one thing that's pretty interesting that I always find interesting about this pose is how much it brings up, how much it brings up. So we can be, be sitting here hanging out and all of a sudden you're like, this emotion pops up. You're like, why am I feeling sad? What's going on? I've seen plenty of people in practices and they'll just start crying. They'll start crying in this pose. And if that's the case, if that's how you're feeling today, let it out, let it out, let it out. It's coming out because it's ready to be released. And that's uh, one thing I always like to remind myself, if it's coming out, it is telling me it is ready to be released, so I don't need to push it back in. Whatever may start to arise here, let it come out, let it move through you, let yourself move through it. Head relaxes, shoulders relax, maybe we go a little bit deeper. Even close down the eyes, so direct your awareness deeper into the breath. And just feel, feel with me. You feel yourself going deeper, Feel your own resistance here start to soften. So like I said before, maybe there's parts of the body that you're tensing that you weren't even aware of. They just start to relax and release and all of a sudden we're going to drop even deeper, even deeper. A few deeper breaths here. Let the inhales and exhales become even longer. Notice if you're making any uh, <laughs> friction with the face, can you relax the face? Soften the face. Thanks. Okay, slowly allow yourself to rise, lifting the chest up, extending the legs forward, and shaking, ah, shaking out those legs, shaking out those legs. Rebend the knees once again, feet flat to the floor, hands come back behind you, fingers are pointing forward, shoulders back, chest up, pressing down with the feet, pressing down with the hands, raise the hips up. You're going to take this right leg, I want you to bring it underneath the left leg and lower it down so you're on the right shin, the outside of the right shin. Hips are high, shoulders are back. We're gonna take the booty, tap it, and raise it. You want more of a challenge? The left foot off the floor. You want more of a challenge? A left leg to the sky, I'll let that be up to you. But just keep it going here with me. We have a three, a two, a last one, hold it up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. A left foot down, 
Right foot down, back to that tabletop. We're gonna go right to the other side. Left leg goes underneath the right leg. Outside of left shin to the floor. Tap it and raise it. As we're raising, really focus on squeezing, activating that left glute. You want more of a challenge, right foot off the floor. Just up and raise. You want more of a challenge, right leg to the sky. There it is. We have three, two, last one, hold it up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Right foot down, left foot down, butt down to the floor. Legs extend forward, shake, 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 shake. And meet me on your back. Go ahead and lay down. When you find your way on your back, I want you to bend the knees. We'll keep the feet flat to the floor with the feet hip width apart. So as we're pointing forward, press down with the feet. Can you take the hips, lift them up super high? How high can those hips get up? Good. Now interlock the hands behind the back. Once the hands are interlocked behind the back, squeeze those shoulder blades closer together. This is when we're trying to bring the shoulders underneath the body. The more the shoulders uh, go underneath the body, the higher the chest is gonna be able to lift. The higher the hips are gonna get. Good. Now from here, pull the chin away from the chest. Press through with the feet, lift the hips even higher. Slow down the breath and also deepen it. As those inhales become a little bit longer, uh, sending that breath up into the chest, filling the chest open even more. Option one, stay here. Okay? You're just pausing here in bridge. Option two, you're gonna take bridge and transfer it to a full wheel. So those of you playing with full wheel, you're still keeping the hips high, you're gonna release the lock of the hands. Hands come back behind you, palms face down, fingers point towards the shoulders. Good, from here you're pressing down with the hands to work on the extension of the arms. Pressing through at the feet, full wheeler. If you're doing it, relax the head. Again, you can stay here in bridge or full wheel. Either way, we're here for five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Gently, slowly release your way down and take the legs, you're just gonna winch the wipe them side to side. As they go back and forth, kind of resets the hips and the pelvis for you a little bit. Pausing with the legs back center. Let's take the right leg, tightly cross it over the left leg. Right leg over, both legs drop to the left. Right arm is gonna extend out to the right. Left hand is on the upper outer uh, right thigh, and that gives you a little deeper twist here. Whew, you may notice my breath is a little bit off. If yours is a little off here too, just a reminder for both of us to slow it down. Sometimes when we come into that wheel or that bridge even, it tends to get that heart rate up a bit. So let's just slow it down here together. Good, a little bit deeper with that breath. And you still allow the breath to just come in and out through the nose. Legs come back to center, release the cross the legs, and we're gonna switch the cross. So left leg crossed over the right leg, both legs drop over to the right. You can use that right hand, placing it up on top of the left thigh. The left arm opens out to the left, keeping the back of the left shoulder on the floor the entire time, focusing on up towards the sky. Chest is pointing up towards the ceiling as well. Again, soften the breath. And let yourself just relax and soften into this pose. So you can even use that right hand as a little bit of a helper. It's kind of pressing into that outer left leg. But the torso itself, just try to let it soften, let it relax, let it go. And you'll notice that will take the pose a whole lot deeper. Yeah, gently the legs come back to center. Release the cross of the legs and then bring both knees into your chest. Once the knees are into the chest, the way you take the knees, you're gonna spread them out wide, reach the hands forward. So if you can grab onto the outside edges of the feet, even if that means you gotta bring the head and shoulders off the floor, that's okay. Hands grab onto the outside, then we're gonna take the ankles, stack them on top of the knees, relax the head and shoulders down to the floor. So just pausing here and happy baby. And ah, there you go, explore it, explore it. Let the body just kind of move side to side. Let yourself be a little bit playful here. Even bringing in that bit of a playful uh, baby-like energy where you're just exploring, noticing what it feels like to move and to be uh, a little bit deeper in your body. Good, pausing back center. Right leg stays in happy baby. I want you to release the left foot to the floor. Okay, so notice this, uh, this right leg, the right ankle and the right knee are still stacked. The left foot is to the floor. That's going to help just kind of ground down with the back. And just sending that breath deeper, deeper into the body. I like to use my, uh, my right arm here as a helper to try to pull that right thigh towards the floor. 
Good. Now sit that right ankle. We're going to cross it on top of the left thigh. And then I want you to take your left foot. Let's bring it out to the left so you feel that it's at the edge of the mat. Okay. Once it's at the edge of the mat, both legs drop over to the right. Keeping the back of the shoulders on the floor the entire time. Keeping the chest pointing to the sky. And just notice this, uh, this stretch that it's giving you. Okay, so ideally, as we're holding this pose, it gives you a little bit of twist on the spine, but a bigger aspect that's happening here is it gives you a little stretch there throughout the left hip flexor and into the left lower back as well. So ideally, it's gonna release some of that tension. Send that breath deeper up into the chest. Let the exhale just relax and release you even more. And gently, the legs come back to center. Release across the legs, bringing both knees into your chest. Just spread the knees open. Reach the arms forward, head and shoulders off the floor, grabbing onto your feet. Once again, right back into that happy baby. Feel free to explore and move, rocking a little bit side to side, and really just kind of discovering your what makes the baby happy. Um, finding stillness back center. Left leg stays in happy baby. Right foot lowers down on the floor this time. As that right foot is down, ground down with it. And when you really ground down with that foot, it makes it easier to get the entire uh, lower back to be grounded as well. Using some uh, action there at the left arm, you're using that to try to pull that left thigh closer to the floor. Setting that breath all the way up and through the body. A few deeper breaths here. Good, now let's take the left ankle. You're gonna cross it on top of the right thigh. Right foot, heel toes over to the right until it's at the edge of the mat. And then both legs drop over here to the left. So again, in this twist, can we focus on relaxing through the torso? A little helper here uh, that actually happens there within the left foot is if you press the part of the foot, the left foot that's touching that right leg down, like into the leg, you're gonna feel that stretch go deeper. And as we're pausing here, I really want you to notice how it gives you that bit of a stretch there on the right hip flexor, but then also helps release some of the tension on the right lower back. Good, let's bring the legs back to center, release the cross of the legs, and then take your right knee, you're gonna pull that into your chest. So right knees into the chest, you can extend the left leg forward. Good, and right leg up to the sky, straightening it out. So depending on your flexibility here, you can either grab onto the hamstring, the calf, or maybe even reaching up to grab onto the foot. But one thing I want you to really kind of be mindful for here is we're not crunching the upper body up to, to grab. Okay, that's ego telling us what to do here. So try to relax and soften into it. Relax the head, relax the shoulders. You let the hands go where they naturally are gonna to wanna to go. But keeping this action as if we're trying to pull that leg further, farther back, feeling that stretch go deeper and deeper in the back of the leg. Good. From here, you're going to take the left hand, bring it to the outside of the right leg, open the right arm out to the right, and then we'll take this right leg and we're going to drop it over to the left. You're rolling over towards that left hip as you do this. What tends to happen is the right shoulder wants to come off the floor. Can you try to push the back of the shoulder on the ground? I'm going to give you a little bonus stretch here. You're going to take the, the uh, let's see, the bottom leg, that's your left leg, and take the left heel and you're going to pull it towards your butt. So you're just bending the left knee. The right hand reaches down. Can you grab onto the foot? I can't grab, grab it from here, so I'm gonna lift up a little bit, see if I can grab, and then relax it back down. If you can't quite grab the foot, it's okay. You're still reaching towards it. And another little uh, kind of hint or trick in this pose, the right hip bone, try to push it away from you, like it's trying to separate from the right ribs. Deepen that breath, send the breath all the way up into the chest. So we have this nice twist happening within the spine. We also have a stretch there happening throughout the right, uh, outside the right leg into the right glute. And then we even have a stretch there happening in the left thigh. So there's a lot going on here, a lot going on here. It release the left foot, extending the left leg forward, pull the right knee back into the chest, give it a little squeeze, and extend the right leg forward. And switching sides here, left knee pulls into the chest, give that a squeeze, give that a hug. Left leg up to the sky, straightening out the left leg. Again, holding onto the hamstring, the calf, or maybe possibly the foot. But uh, wherever it is that you're grabbing, again, please make sure that the head and shoulders stay relaxed to the floor. Deepening throughout the breath and feeling throughout the body. Okay, obviously the stretch here, I say obviously because <laughs> you should definitely be able to feel this. The stretch is happening in the hamstring, mm, right on the back of the leg. The right hand is gonna go on the outside of that left leg, the outside of the shin or the, the thigh if needed. And then we're gonna take the left arm, open it out to the left, 
The right leg drops over, or left leg drops over to the right, keeping the back of the left shoulder on the floor if you can get it there. And a few deeper breaths, pausing here within the twist. And then that bonus here, you're gonna bend the right knee. Right heel pulls towards the butt, reaching down with the left hand, maybe pulling the body up a little bit to see if you can grab onto the foot, and then try to get the back of the left shoulder back to the floor. Chest is still pointing up to the sky. You're still deepening that breath, setting that breath all the way up into the chest. Another little reminder here for you is to pull that left hip, kind of pushing that left hip away from the left ribs. And notice how just breathing here helps you take the pose even deeper. Another big breath in. And exhale, just go ahead and release the right foot, bring your left knee back into your chest. And then go ahead and extend the left leg forward. So both legs are extended forward, arms are extended forward, palms face up. Then gently, slowly close down the eyes with me. And then just let the entire body, just let it go, let it go. Relax, release, and soften. We'll let the inhales and the exhales become a little bit longer, but also very soft. When I, wait, when I say something like soften the breath, if that confuses you a little bit, I get it. So what I'm uh, really trying to get out of you is to try to make it super quiet. So quiet that if somebody was to peek in this room and notice you right now, they have to do a double take because it looks like you're not even breathing. They can't even hear you. So breathing in nice and slow, nice and gentle, nice and quiet. A reminder to just let the body go. Uh, we're slowly going to go ahead and bring ourselves out of this. If you are feeling ah, like the Shavasana just feels so good for you and you want to stay in it, feel free to stay in it. Okay? If you're ready to come out, feel free to join me. You're going to wiggle the fingers, you're going to wiggle the toes. Uh, those of you that are coming out of this with me, extend the arms up and over the head, find more reach, more extension, more space. And gently bring the knees into your chest. And just go ahead and roll yourself over to the right, coming into a fetal position. Really pressing down with the hands and working your way up into a seated pose. So basically ending today where we began today. Again, if you decide that you want to stay there in Shavasana, it's all good. Just stay there. The palms come together, thumbs to your chest. And if you're seated here, just allow the head to bow forward into your hands. We're taking a moment here to seal in the practice, to honor the practice, to really honor yourself here. Leading you through the practice that is always my honor the light within me salutes the light within you namaste mm. it's been so great being with you today i hope you're feeling relaxed and grounded and ready to ease into the rest of your day with a sense of balance i'm coach jake Faree. be well and i will see you soon back